The Dream of Love by George Pope Morris. I felt the heartache many times at the mere mention of a name. I have never woven in my rhymes or from my inspiration came. It is in truth a holy thing, life cherished from a world apart. A dove that never tries its wing, but roots and nestles in the heart. That name of melody recalls a gentle look in the whining ways, whose portrait hangs on memory's walls in the fond light of other days. In the dreamland of poetry, reclinging in its leafy powers, a bright ice in the stars I see, and a sweet semblance in the flowers. A heartless dalliance and grace, the joy that lighted up a pro, a sweet expression on a face, a form that stands before me now. I can fancy that I hear the woodland song she used to sing, which stole to my attending ear like the first harborings of spring. The beauty of the earth was hers, and her superiority of heaven. Alone of all her worshippers, to me a maiden woes were given. A little know the human heart, who thinks such love of time expires. Once kindled, it will near depart, but burn for life of all its fires. We parted, doomed no more to meet. The blow filled with a stunning power, and yet my pulse would strangely beat at remembrance of that hour. But time and change were healing brought, and years have passed in seemingly, but still alone of her I thought, who's no memory to me. There may be many who will deem the strain of a worthy, youthful folly, but be derided as a dream born of a poet's melancholy. The wealth of words, if it were mine, of all that follows in its train, I would with gratitude resign to dream a dream of love again.